Welcome back. This is the second part of the presentation. We have seen uh, uh, how to measure the situation and uh, how to save teeth even when there is bone loss or mobility. And now we focus on the fractures on the teeth. And uh, for example, in this patient, uh, she fall uh, by a swimming pool and uh, she's 14 years old and she came together with her orthodontist because she just finished the orthodontic treatment and uh, falling by uh, the swimming pool, she hit the chin this way and the tense guard, she didn't break the incisor, but she broke the uh, premolars. So I did the uh, anesthesia because she was in pain. And then I check which fragment was more movable or if there is something, I, hoping that this was not a vertical fracture. And thanks God, I was right, because the most movable fragment was where the palatal for the two premolar on the right side of the patient. And so we, of course, you need to remove the fragments. And uh, you see how big is the endodontic uh, channel because the patient is very young, he's only 14. 